everybody. We are currently on our way to Avon Park. We're on Highway 64 heading east. So we're gonna see what the countryside of Florida looks like out here. Behind us is Soulful Springs. This is just a very, very serene place. Gotta tell you what, you get that motorcycle down there. This is just beautiful countryside. If only they had a Starbucks out here. I know, right? Is this guy riding an ATV down the road? Yeah. Sure enough, buddy. I want to buy me some acreage. I want to get some land and get a drive my ATV around. Mm -hmm. I went to that ATV no Starbucks out here. I know. I went to that ATV store. You know where this guy's going? If I oh, pass me. Right past you because he ain't got all day, women. He ain't got all day. I know you're a law abiding, but people out here got places to go. Cattle to feed, women to stride. Never heard that one. Stride. I don't even know what that means. I just know they gotta do it. What does the word stride mean? Like Hello, Google. Define. <laughs> hey Siri, define stride. Past. She's on silent mode. Stroke. Not stride. Not stroke. Stride. An important positive development. So they have an important positive development to do on women. I'm gonna stride you when we get home. I'm gonna develop you in a positive way. Keep yeah. that private, Jose. No, no, it's not a bad word. Stride means like you're gonna develop somebody in a positive way. I wanna develop you in a positive way when we get home. Take it right here. I have no idea where we're going. I'm just going to guess we're taking a ride. Okay. The Popo of Wachula. What are you doing out here, Wachula Popo? What are you doing out here? I hate when there's like a blind turn and like you're taking and I can't see where you're going because you scare me. I'm like, uh, I'm not going to like... like 13 miles from Rainbow Park. Yeah. I'm not going to have a problem if there's a semi truck going slow past it, so I'm okay to go. I like your assumptions. Yes. But they're assumptions. Mm hmm. I like these little houses. Oh, I love these little houses on five acres. Mm hmm. Surrounded by cow pastures and stuff. We just need to find there's the right one. There's no Starbucks around here. How much do those houses run? When are they going to open a Starbucks around here? Uh, uh, I think there's one in Sivon. Sivon. <laughs> Sebring and Avon Park had a baby and Sivon came out. Sivon Park. Sivon <laughs> right there. Right? You, know, you hear about C Sebring and Avon had a baby. What are they going to name it? Sivon. Sivon. Look at all these ducks on the side of the road. Yeah. F1, F5, F, F, if they got an F350 or F450, F, 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 yeah, they're going to road rage you too. Why do you talk like that? Like as soon as they get you five miles out of town, you sound like you're married your cousin. What's wrong with you, Jose? As soon as you go on this country road, you start It's like your own typewriter. Just tick, 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 tick. Some mustard. I got back in mustard. What's that? You weren't saying that back in the city. Back in Lakewood Ranch, you weren't saying. And back in Lakewood Ranch, you were like, Hey, honey, I want to buy some organic hummus, free hummus. And you come out here, you're like, I want to buy some ketchup and mustard. Take this girl five miles out of town. I have ketchup at the house. I want to get mustard. I want to get mustard. You I want to see, make... you weren't talking like that. I want to make hot dogs. You weren't talking like that when you were back in Lakewood Ranch. When I'm at home, I want to make salami and mustard sandwich. Look at that. On an egg That's crab. a big word for a country girl like you. Salami. There's three syllables in that one. We're going to make salami. Oh, that sounds fancy. Salami and egg wrap. The egg wrap salami. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> salami egg wrap. Where are you getting this crap from, bro? Well, they had this thing because it's 
it's gluten free. They sell these egg egg things that you can make into a sandwich as your bread. They also got cheese for that. But I'm gonna try these egg egg uh, wraps. It's just yeah. aggravates me just hearing you talk. Like, how long about it? Pep, 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 pep. Yeah. Dad have found that it is better if I actually eat lunch instead of two meals a day. I found it better to you fart nastier when you eat salami. That's what I found. <laughs> you please stop eating salami throughout the day. It'd be freaking great for the atmospheric pressure inside this vehicle. I have not eaten salami in years, so I was I'm like, glad you haven't. And I don't want you to start eating it either. <laughs> hey, salami italiano. Driving through the village of Charlie Creek. Those are some sad looking cows. Hey, okay, look. We are about to drive into Avon Park Lakes. I've never explored this part of Avon Park, but I'm sure it's as miserable and horrific as it sounds on paper. I already like the houses. I already feel depressed. Why are you slowing down? This car's behind you. I'm going to have to turn. You can't see those cars. No, you're not. You're going straight. Okay. It's all, it's, you're not even there yet. Oh, okay. You're not even halfway there. You just keep driving. This F950 behind you is gonna run you over, Woo. You I can't got just a Chevy you can't me. just stop and mid road like that. No, oh, they got oranges growing. It out looks here. like they did really well here. Really well, uh, what? It doesn't look as uh, winded. With the hurricane? Yeah. A lot is of that a word winded? Well, they don't look like wind burned. You're like 100 miles in there. What the crap do you expect? Oh, I've seen stuff that just looks like that. Why are there so many oranges on the ground? It's a waste. Mm -hmm. Well, there's bears and stuff, and they sometimes they just fall off the trees. Sometimes I don't even know what you're talking. You know, sometimes I, I know you're talking. I hear the words that, you're, you're, that are coming out of your mouth. But I don't understand what they're mean. You know what I'm saying? Like I see, I heard the words. Now the meaning is difficult to understand. They have oranges growing here. Well, at least we won't starve to death out here. Maybe the car is concerned with your driving. So am I. Watch out for the mailbox. This has got to be the most depressing place I've ever seen. It's like Hernando County, but like sadder. Well, there's your roof sadder. damage right there. I guess there was some hurricane winds out here. Yeah. more like a retirement place. We don't necessarily work for someone. <laughs> the F-350 is going to run you off the road. I know. He's like two feet away. I wish you guys could see how rude these country folks are. He's got the Confederate flag on there Let him. Drive slow. Take your time. The Let speed limit is 25 because there's kids and stuff. school zone or something. Yeah, you can't really. Yeah. Is he that angry at the world? How angry do you have to be at the world? I guess if you're in an F-950, he's going to go past you Low pass. There he goes. Oh, yeah. There he's going to roll coal on you, too. Slow down. There's kids around here. What a jerk. And we're right behind you. For what? Mm-hmm. He's looking at oh, me like yeah. that. Just, just, what's his problem? I'm going to go the other way. Yeah, go the other way. He's like all looking at you all angry and stuff. Yeah. Looking at you like you're an idiot. He's the one getting nine miles to the gallon. <laughs> or nine gallons to the mile. What the crap is his problem? There's just clearly a speed limit sign. He's mad at you for he following the speed limit. He must have had to use the restroom. He's mad at you for going to speed limit. Mm -hmm. I've never seen any... Leave it up to people in Florida to get angry at somebody else for going to speed limit. Literally, there's signs everywhere that say children crossing. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon on it's a Friday. Kids, yeah, it's, kids are literally getting out of school. Kids like, are getting out of school. How are you going to get mad at somebody... How are you going to get mad at somebody? Get mad at somebody for going to speed limit. You know, it's Friday. The kids are going to be excited because they got out of school. It's Avon Park. Half the people are 95. It's a weekend. Yeah, I know, right? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Avon, it doesn't look as trashy as other parts of Avon Park. It looks like they have... Ooh, look at that dodge. Do you see the orange cable? Mm -hmm. 
The internet is the orange. Look at that Dodge Comet. I see yellow. Ford Maverick looking thing right there. Mm -hmm. What the crap is that? I see yellow. I see cables. elder. Mm -hmm. Go right, go right, go right. Go right. Southwest Florida late to work. What are they complaining? What are they? What does he like to? You know, his funeral. <laughs> well, well he's like, late to the toilet. <laughs> you know what? Take a a right when you get to the right. We're gonna go back on that lake road. We're gonna keep going in that circle. Okay. We wanna see what's on the north side of that? This guy standing on a roof. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look as trashy as, as Russ Avon Park. No, it looks very nice. I wouldn't say it looks very nice, but I would say it. It, it looks like people okay. keep up like on Hank their properties. Hill. It looks like a Hank Hill type of neighborhood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like Hank Hill with the water. Take a right. Okay. And we're driving around Lake Olivia, if you're wondering where the crap we are. We're driving around a circle around Lake Olivia. This doesn't look too trashy. Most of Avon Park looks just like gangland. Mm -hmm. This at least looks like elderly land. I don't know what's worse. But uh, wow, did that give us the other way? Just mm -hmm. keep going on that loop. Can't believe how much glare we got. Like, that's how fast you're supposed to be driving. It's just it's a oh. residential community. I don't know what that guy's problem was. Mm -hmm. Maybe he had diarrhea. I think so. Maybe his diarrhea was acting up. They never did. They were talking about it. Yeah. They paved this road recently. Yeah. With the bass fishing in this lake's gotta be good. Mm-hmm. That dark, dark looking thing. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put the roads for because when you get to um take a right up ahead, um at the next They used to look like the type of people that would call the county on you. Yeah. Like, hey, how's Mark? Oh, it's not even paved up ahead. Okay. Car's dirty anyways. Lake. And Rick Cola. Keep going straight until you get to Buckingham. Going straight out that way into Buckingham. The only thing I don't like about this neighborhood, I'll tell you, these people look like they're snitch. Like, they look, they look like the call the county type people. They look like Boomhauer type of get on the phone and like, okay, look, that dog been barking down here for two hours type of people. Mm -hmm. Don't they look like all, don't this, this neighborhood just have like a snitch profile? Yeah. Snitch on your profile. And what, call the county, what call am the I doing on Buckingham? Take a ride. Alright, okay. I would say this doesn't look bad. A1 Park ain't much, no. but, you know. Avon Park sucks, but if you want to live like on the outskirts of a town that sucks and not be in, if you want to live in the bathroom but not be in the toilet. <laughs> if you What's wanna, the house prices around here? We'll have to look at it later, but I will start looking at empty lots out here. <laughs> like the worst app ever. So bad, it just freezes. I should freezes. consider part of Sebring. So those new houses we saw are going for 300 though. Well, that's... <laughs> that's a lot, take a rank. Yeah. It's about a, what they're worth. <laughs> Uh, agree to? Yeah. 200,000. Hmm. Right? Or mm -hmm. left? Let's go right. Uh -huh. a, a big house, 270. 200. So about 250. Hey, empty lots are $7,000. Not bad. Hmm. You can get empty lots for $7,000. Okay. What we'll have to do is we'll have to scope them out from home. Uh -huh. It's crazy because their hand's sticking out the car and then the tailgate's open. Mm -hmm. It's just seem like we're in Texas. Mm -hmm. This looks like Midland or no Odessa. Gosh, like this. horrendously <laughs> ugly out here. I guess you could label this the nice side of A1 Park. We've only shown like the most horrendous yeah. hoods and crap. There's always a, there's a nice side of A1 Park. I'm like, I ain't seen it. Highlands County, Florida. We're about to enter Avon Park, a prosperous little town. Or something, put it down. <laughs> put it down. Put it down. <laughs> oh, that's the dumbest road sign I've ever seen. Put what down? Put it down. Go 
country towns. You don't know what they're talking about. Just like even the countryside. It sounds even... like you're talking about a horse or something. <laughs> <laughs> Put it down. Put it down. <laughs> what is that about? <laughs> These little country towns crack me up, man. What type of road sign is that? Put it down. Like what? The horse? What are we putting down? The horse? I think they mean the cell phone, but like really. Or the pipe. What if it could be that? Could it be the pipe? Put down the pipe. What are you just putting down? The horse? It depends, I guess, who you are. Like if you're driving down the road and you got a horse trailer, put it down. Like, All right, we'll put them down. <laughs> I don't know why the state wants me to get rid of my horse, but I'm sure they got their reasons. <laughs> Crackhead drives by, put it down. Oh man, my pipe. Come on, man. If you're drinking, put down. Put it down. Don't drink no more. Put it more. down, yeah. If you're on your phone, put it down. If it's just you and your wife, put it down. <laughs> <laughs> if you a gangster, you put it down either way. You hear me? I've been putting it down. You hear me? If a rapper drives by, man, I've been putting it down. You hear me? Put what down? I think about these little country towns. They just ain't got no sense, man. Put it, put what down? What are we supposed to put down, Avon Park Police Department? The crime rate? I'm sure the cop put it up like, well, we're going to put the crime rate down. What are we doing to put the crime rate down? Let's well, just put up a sign. Put it down. <laughs> well, the guy that's installing the sign puts it up. Hey, boss, what am I supposed to do now? I got the sign over here by the highway. Uh, Put it down. But I just put it up. No, the sign's going to say put it down. <laughs> All right, I'll put it down. All right, then. We'll put it down. We'll just put it up. Get down. on the left lane, boy. I know. Not, not now. There's a car there. I know. But I'm telling them I have the intention to do it. They're not listening very well. No. These people here have a listening problem. <clears throat> you see my answer, take a left. Okay. Go right right down Avon Park and tell you guys what it's looking like out here in Avon. Is this Main like, Street? No. Katie, that's not Main it, it, Does that look like a Main Street? It's an old tire shop. <laughs> it could be. Why would they have a tire shop on their Main Street? Well, there's a Pleasant Drive. Take a Pleasant Street. Take a left on Pleasant Street. Right here. That right there is Pleasant. Doesn't that sound pretty? Pleasant Street? Yeah, I'm sure it's, it's not. It's probably the best... I bet you it's the best street in this town. Can you imagine living on Pleasant Street? Oh, yeah. Doesn't that just sound pretty? Well, you saw the movie Pleasantville, right? Yeah. It must be the, this must be the nicest street in this town. Mm -hmm. Think about it. I live on Pleasant Street. Pleasant? Pleasant. Ple is it Peasant or West Ple Pleasant. That's got to be the best street in this town. Well, I mean, I, I used to live near a town called Mount Pleasant. Was it Pleasant? Was pleasant. That's what I'm saying. It's like if it's called this has to be the best part of Avon Park. I'm gonna guess if you had if I take a wild guess, Pleasant Street has to be like this is the nice side of town. Mm -hmm. Look at the street names. Pleasant. Prairie. Florida. Like you're not gonna name a street after your town that's bad. Florida, DeSoto. Yeah, this has gotta be the best part of town right here. I don't know what's taking this guy so long to take a turn, man. Come on, man. I think that the front. Where's the landfill? Oh, my gosh. I was thinking of the same Where's the landfill? I think this is a junk removal service right here. I I was thinking, I hope they're not putting that in their house. And they're getting rid Why of Why aren't that. they going? They could have gone like 20 times over. I know they got a trailer, but crap. Are they falling asleep? Pass them. They're never going to get out of here. Hot the horn at some point. A dump truck could have gone already. I know. I would have gone already. Come on, dude. Oh, yeah. Think about that. Pleasant Street. I think they're GPS in the landfill. This this has to be the best part of the city. It, they even paved it. It's brand new paved. There's a mural right there. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, whatever this There's has to be. There's a daycare. If you're moving to Avon Park, make sure you end up on Pleasant Street. Mm -hmm. Right off of... No go. <laughs> Think about that. Pleasant. What a beautiful name. Pleasant Street. That's the type of stuff you dream about buying a house and when you tell people where you live. I'm on Pleasant Street. Like you could just dream about. That's the type of stuff you dream about right there. It's just calling and ordering a pizza. 
I'm on 545 Pleasant Street. Just beautiful. What a name, man. I tell you, you can just tell if a neighborhood's good or bad just by the name of the streets. You know, if you're on Pleasant Street, the name says it all. The name says it all. They go right here. Why are these people so bad at driving? They're just parked there, like, like were they all stoned out of their minds? What the crap, dude? He's just parked there, like, you almost had to hit a curb. This is a good neighborhood. Anything off of Pleasant Street's gonna be nice. You can tell a good neighborhood when you see it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can just tell. I like a corn lodger. Right, for the whole community. <laughs> a five-plex. That's nice. A little bit of litter, not too bad. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it's perfect. You know, every neighborhood's gonna have its downside. Mm -mm. I guess here, just a little bit of litter, not a whole bunch, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of litter. Take me home to the place I belong. Avon Park. the angry people. That took forever. No. Yeah. Maybe it is a duck. Can this guy get? No, that's true. Go. Okay, you're gonna have to speed up and pass him. Yeah. You're rage, real road raging tomorrow. They're gonna think you're trying to bother them. No, it wasn't these. Oh, it was these people. Yes, yeah, I'm saying like don't like you know. Yeah. They're gonna think you're following them or something. Mm -hmm. I know this is the best part. Is that a squatted unit? Get back on pleasant. Uh, hey, what? Uh, yeah, go back. Take a ride on pleasant. Mm -hmm. Seems like that's where all the good stuff was happening. Pleasant. Look at that. Yeah. Not sure why they got metal bars in the windows. So unnecessary. Mm -hmm. You don't need metal bars in the windows when you're unpleasant. Mm -hmm. You remember the first time we came out here and this place was like 95% like Amer old American people? Mm -hmm. And now it's like 30% Hispanic. This place has changed for the better. <clears throat> I don't think it's 30. Like 40? <laughs> more and more. <laughs> Every time we come out here, it's more and more Hispanic. Yeah. Changing for the better. No doubt about that. I remember we looked at a house here. We did. And we noticed the house was a crack house. We decided. I think we're probably going to take right here. I keep going. Keep going. You're good. I, I wouldn't even worry about that. Yeah, we're definitely seeing the best neighborhoods this town. Best got. is the best. Watch his track tracks, dude. You only got like six, six inches of clearance. I get that, and I'm driving. It's hard to tell if you got that part or not. It's not like you're in a dang F950 up here. This thing's got three inches of clearance underneath it. You're flying over these railroad. Oh, quiet that thing. Look at the cops. I know. It's all the po -po. Oh, it's just an echo. Oh, did, did they notice us? Did they notice us? Did they notice us? Jose? Yeah. If you're not breaking the law, they got nothing to do with you. I got warrants out. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Uh, no, you don't. How do you know if I don't have warrants out? Because I'm with you 24-7. Are you really? Yes. Bad influence. <laughs> okay, my heart's thumping. Why? Popo. Popo, no. You 30 Can you please freaking go? Not, not now. What are you doing? You're, you would have gone straight. What are you, why are you turned? You, all right, you decide just to turn without my permission. All right. I want to see this damn kid. Damn, damn. You want to see their damn kid? You want to see their downtown or their damn kid? I'm sure they have a really nice damn. Downtowns all over America, and this by far has the most. Why do you stop? You have a green light. Get Take a left. Now you got it. Okay, now you're going red. First, you stopped on. You stopped. You stopped on a green light, and then you went on a red. Are you done? What type of como basura stops at a green light and it goes on a red? You have problems, man. 
You're the one with problems. You want me to swing around? Keep on straight. Okay. I'm gonna put one of those student driver stickers on the back of this car. Let people know you're from Asura. Are you supposed to say that on YouTube? You can say Como Asura. No. How? Avon Park, man. Rings from Avon Park. Oh. <laughs> I guess teenage delinquency has to be on on a prime level in this town. Like, yeah. just, these kids all look like delinquents. Yeah. I remember There's when always somebody broke. tapping. That's my yeah. son. He's, he's my past student. How dare you take a right in a ring? Right. I remember when we broke down here and then had to call my mom. She was like terrified. I know, She's right? Like, what are you guys doing out here? <laughs> look at this, Como Asura. They're taking up two lanes. I was like, what are you guys doing out here? This place is full of Why are you getting road rage? Take a, a, a left into this gas station and then pull around. Why were you getting road rage? It's not like you were driving. Well, you were driving like an idiot. Okay, what are we doing here? Go back around downtown. Like, go this way? city, mm -hmm. city. Look at the road. Look at the road, man. Yeah. Do I need to, like, drive? Do I need to drive? Would you like to? No, people are honking a horn at you and, and probably doing something wrong. When you're driving on, driving through green lights and stopping at red, wait, stopping at <laughs> greens and going to reds, maybe there's something wrong here. Wait a minute. I wonder how many people in this town have been eaten by alligators. How did that even come to your mind? There's lakes everywhere. I know. What does N-O mean? What? You said N-O. I know. Why does everybody have their hair dyed? No idea. Like, there's nothing else to do in these small towns with dyed hair? I don't know. I saw, like, a five-year-old with dyed hair. Yeah, that's trashy. Yeah. Well, the only thing nice this town has going for it is that you can always leave. Yeah. I don't have a paletero. 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 You know I love paletels. Paletelos. You love paletelos. What's wrong with hey, you? Katie, that's a red light. I think you're supposed to stop at those. I noticed recently you've been driving through those and then stopping at green lights, but that's actually you. It's the other version. You know what makes me funny? What what I find funny about this town is how everybody's in a rush. But yeah, like, there's, there's nowhere, nowhere to, to go. go. What do you do here? Like, what's the rush in it? What is the rush? Are they late to work or? I think they get fought off Katie, rushing each other. Go women! Go women! Like, what's the rush? Where are they late to? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of hurt. What happened? Big old Dodge truck missing a rim. Mm -hmm. uh, slow down with the door down. There's a cop behind you. I don't know what the speed limit is. It's 30. I'm, I'm sure going under 30. A, I'm sure if you blew through a red light, they're going to pull you over regardless. Ah! I'm going to buy you a Hummer. That way you can drive the way you really want to drive. Because I feel like this little Camry just isn't doing it for you. I feel oh, like maybe if you had a Hummer, you're going 30 you're already. I feel like if you had a Hummer, you could just drive the way you really want to drive. Where do you get a name like that in Central Florida? No idea. This cop is dying to pull you over. I'm sure somebody called the cop. There's this lady. She uh, drove to the red light and stopped at the green light. Y'all got to go catch her. She's got to be on some serious stuff. It's not a cop. Um, why would you drive a Ford Explorer? I hate people that do that. Like people drive cop looking cars but they're not cops. Yeah. Horrendous. What a plague to society. Driving a cop car even though it's not a cop car. <laughs> I dropped a bunch of shorts earlier today. I wonder if they did anything. That was kind of expensive. It was expensive for us back then. I know. You could have gone and you didn't. You see what why why would you do that? You could have clearly gone, but you didn't. You just like fell asleep. What are they protesting? What are they protesting here? What are they protesting? Yeah. What? Dang it! 
What the crap are they protesting now? What? Okay, what? What? Tap it! Tap it! What type of? Hey. I was born in Cuba. I'm sorry, what? You were born in Cuba? Yeah. You're okay with gutting babies trying to kill a full grown man. You know, I don't want to see y'all nasty. What the crap is wrong with these people? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I just started. What is, I don't even get it. What, what's the point of? It's horrendous. By the way, all the vocabulary he used, I don't know if I'll have to edit that out. Interesting. I'm gonna have to edit the video because all the vocabulary they use. Uh, this is a Jamaican the, restaurant over there. Stupid. People have too much time on their hands. Yeah. This guy needs to go like go build Lego sets or something. You know what? If you're gonna drive slow, get out of the fast lane, please. I'm going more no, than. No, you're not. You're getting passed on the right. Get off the of fast lane if you're gonna drive slow. He was very offensive. It's hard to get people to believe in your cause when you're cursing them out. I thought, I mean, it's just let it go. Yeah. There's no reason to even get into that. I don't know. I'm gonna have to edit the video because the vocabulary he used was very angry, very, uh... uh okay. <sighs> well, you'll never forget your trip to Seabrook. Anything like that anywhere? So, I... I Anyways, interesting. I'm gonna have to edit the video because the cow there they used is uh, oh my gosh, not a, not the best. But uh, uh, I want to get the GoPro one. I'll drive because you're, you're driving like an idiot. <coughs> but, uh, I'm just glad we're not anywhere near those people at the moment. <laughs> yeah, interesting. I, I was like, this light is taking way too long. Yeah, it was. I was like, we're about to get attacked by a bunch I was of old like, people. Oh my Hey baby, um, why don't you drive us home? You wanna drive home? Please. Not particularly. Um, you're a good driver. Here, you drive us home today. You always say that when you want me to drive. No, you can drive home. You're a good driver. You say I drive too slow. No, you drive great. I wanna see you drive. <laughs> you saw me drive earlier. No, you did, you, you did good. That's you why complained. I want you to I want you to drive us home. It's a you long, complained every second. It's about an hour and a half drive, so I want you to do it. You complained the whole way. No, I won't. I'm gonna let you drive, and and I, I have faith that you're gonna drive us home safely and whatnot. Here at the cowpoke, really good food. Let me in. Hello. Hello. Open the door, man. I'm still outside. Keep complaining about my drive, and I'll leave you here in Sebring with all the old people. I wanna stay here with all these old people. Complain about my driving, you will. I never complain. What are you talking? When have I ever complained about your driving? Constantly. I constantly praise you for your good driving. Yeah, there's no praise in that. <laughs> I never complain. I think you're driving the wrong way. I think I am too. Yeah. Head south, I wasn't gonna complain about your driving, but you were driving the wrong way there. Complain about your driving, but it took you less than 20 yards to be driving in the wrong direction. Uh, it's a semi. That's a dump truck. Yes, and I'm stopped. Uh, yeah, <laughs> please. Uh, stop for the semis. Uh.